did you ever wonder how MongoDB stores infinite number of collections which has huge amounts of data present in its database? Now the size of a collection in MongoDB is typically unrestricted. But the collection increases in size as more documents are indexed, right? And unlimited size collection isn't necessarily the best structure for log storage or high throughput applications though. A different kind of collection called a capped collection is frequently more advantageous in these circumstances. On that note, hey everyone, welcome to Simply Coach YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. Before we begin, let me just confirm if my audio is fine and the screen is clearly visible to you guys. If, if you are facing any issues, let us know in the chat section below and we will try to resolve it as soon as possible. Alright, so in today's session, we'll be discussing all about the capped collections and see how it is different from a normal collections, discuss its advantages and disadvantages and when should be using it. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. Alright. So what is capped collection in MongoDB? Now a capped collection is a special type of collection that has either a fixed number of documents in a collection or only a fixed number of elements in it. It basically creates new documents by overriding the oldest documents in the collection. And also capped collections have maximum size or document counts that prevent them from growing beyond the maximum threshold that is been available. Now all capped collection must specify a maximum size and may also specify a maximum document count as well. MongoDB removes older documents if a collection reaches this maximum size limit before it reaches the maximum document count. So overall the structure and functionality of a capped collection supports high performance and also the high throughput performance for applications and the overall performance of CRUD operations like create, read and delete operations as well. So let us now understand why we use MongoDB capped collection. But before we begin, we have to understand how it is different from a normal collection and how exactly they differ from each other. So basically in comparison to normal collection, capped collections are created in advance and are only of fixed size. Whereas the normal collections are created dynamically and it generally uh, or automatically grows in size to fit the extra data that we uh, need to incorporate in our database. So these capped collections on the other hand are designed to consume less space under rotating. That means once allocated space is full, it will start writing from older documents again. And that is the reason it is called as a circular buffer collection or simply a circular collection, which means whenever the collection size is exhausted, it starts deleting the old documents automatically without explicitly providing any commands to the database. And some operations that are not allowed on a capped collections is that documents cannot be removed with a command like uh, you know drop collections and also updates that make document to grow in size are not allowed also. So that comes to the main point on why we use you know MongoDB cap collections. First one is in order to ensure the insertion order is maintained. So capped collection offer very high performance as we discussed earlier for CRUD operations because they preserve insertion order. So unlike normal collection which keep on adding uh, you know the data into its collection, uh, capped collections on the other hand make sure that once the data is completely filled in the collection it will automatically delete and the insertion operation is done on the basis of uh, you know the first come and first sub basis. And next also we discussed auto removal of oldest documents. So in order to make room for the new documents, you know, into a collection, capped collection basically uh, automatically removes the oldest documents in the collection without writing, you know, scripts or expli expli explicit remove operations in our, uh, you know, MongoDB database. And finally, it stores the catch data that needs to be refreshed frequently. Now we know that MongoDB is a huge NoSQL database and we have a lot of amounts of data that is being generated on a daily basis. So in the same way we need to process or you know retrieve that information quickly right. So there's a lot of catch, catchy data that is being generated on a fre uh, re frequent basis. So in order to you know store all that information capped collections can be a useful uh, tool for you. So these are some of the main reasons why we use MongoDB capped collections. All right, let, next let us discuss some uh, characteristics of capped collections in MongoDB. 
Now, firstly, no delete operations can be performed. Now, as discussed earlier, uh, if you're looking to delete a document from a cap collection, then basically you're looking into the wrong direction as we cannot delete documents from a cap collection. The old documents in a capped collection can only be deleted automatically upon insertion of the new documents when the allocated size uh, to the capped collection has been exhausted or the maximum limit has been reached. Next, all the elements in collection should have an equal size. So basically when you are creating a capped collection, capped collection, you have to mention the size of that capped collection and each element will take the equal size of it. So let's say if you have allocated a size of let's say 100 bytes and you are trying to insert 4 records in that. So each element or each document will take 25 bytes of size. So it shares in equal amounts of size uh, in the collection. Next, it works as a queue and because of this, no indexing is required. Now, a capped collection does not contain any default indexes like in general uh, to the contrast of a normal collection, which might seem strange. In addition to this, even the ID field lacks an index for this. So, MongoDB doesn't waste any time searching for a location to store a new document on the disk. Uh, let's say when you're performing an insert operation on a capped collection. It is possible for MongoDB to add a new document to the end of the capped collection easily. So the insert operations in capped collections run very quickly because there is no wastage in disk space organization. And it is also useful to keep log files as well. So MongoDB as we discussed earlier maintains a running log of events you know, including entries such as the in incoming uh, connections, commands, uh, you know the data that you are being provided and all other stuff you know into the database so generally log log messages are useful for diagnosing issues monitoring your deployment and tuning your performance so in order to uh, keep all these log files and to access them in a frequent manner we use cap collections so these are some of the main characteristics of cap collections i hope you guys have understood so let us now move understand and discuss the syntax that is how to create a cap collection in mongodb now the simple syntax is db dot uh, now you can use the syntax that you use for a create uh, collection right so it is similar to that only db dot create collection mention the collection name as per your size and after that mention the keyword capped and then boolean now boolean here i'll discuss uh, next when we you know go through each of this next we have size mention the number of bytes next we have max number all right so firstly we have the create collection which is a method to create a new capped collection right next we have a collection name it basically represents the collection name that you want to create uh, we can use any name for for our capped collection next we have the capped keyword and then we are specifying a boolean value here so we have to set capped option which is either true or false so if you have set the capped option to true then our collection will be created as a capped collection so in on the other hand if you have specified the capped collection option as false then the collection is created without any cap collection and finally we have the size size option will specify the limit of size for the cap size cap collection sorry so we can specify the size of our collection in bytes in general for cap collections so this parameter is actually mandatory when we have defined a, a collection which is of a capped collection type and finally we have max where you have to provide a number that is how many documents that you want to incorporate in your cap collections and when you want to uh, specify uh, or you know limit the maximum number of documents that are allowed in your collection size option will give preference over the max option in mongodb in general so that was uh, the basic syntax on how to create a cap collection and if you want to know whether your collection has been capped or not you can use this following command which can be uh, visible on your screen which is db dot let's say my uh, you know collection name is cap log collection and if you want to see whether it is created or not i'm using is capped keyword so this is how you can use these commands in order to create and view your collection which is of capped type in your mongodb database so I hope you understood how to create uh, this, I mean the syntax on how to create a cap collection. So let us now directly jump into MongoDB shell for execution part. So as you can see MongoDB shell has started and firstly let us look at our databases which will be our first command which is show DBS. So again we'll be using the same simply code one database in order to understand how cap collection works. 
So let's let us see the collections that are present. So simply code one uh, has various collections like cap log collection, collection name, customer details, employee marks, and new employees. So let us now firstly uh, create a capped collection. So as we already discussed the syntax of uh, the capped collections. So let's just execute it now. So the uh, syntax is followed as create mention create collection keyword and inside that mention the capped collection name. So let's just take uh, log collection one. So you can keep it a uh, name of your own choice so it's up to your wish close the uh, brackets and uh, open the flower brackets and mention the capped keyword and i'm specifying it as true that is we want to create a new capped collection all right mention it as true and comma mention the size so let's just keep let's say thousand bytes for our capped collection so this is how uh, you basically create a capped collection in your mongodb database click on enter so it will say okay one that means you have successfully created now we have only create uh, you know specified the size to our capped collection so if you want to limit the number of documents that you want to uh, you know insert into your cap collection then you have to mention the maximum size also so for that what we'll do is we'll provide the additional uh, you know max uh, constraint as well so after size mention the max keyword and just for our understanding i'm just keeping it uh, you know for a simple number i'm just keeping three all right so since i'm keeping 10 3 is the number of documents that the collection will collection will overall have so let's say if you're trying to insert another documents after you know inserting first three documents then it will automatically replace with the new one so let's just see how it will work but i think we have to change the collection name again here so i'm just taking it as log collection 2 and okay click on enter all right again it says okay one that means you have successfully created or not created but again let's just find out whether uh, you know collection is capped or not for that we have already discussed we have to use the is capped you know method for that so db dot mention the collection name which is log collection 2 dot is make sure the capped uh, c is capital so it is true so that means we have successfully uh, you know created a capped collection and it is not just a normal collection so let us now try to insert some records or uh, data into our you know this capped collection and see how it works so db dot uh, mention the collection name which is log collection 2 dot again you can use the insert command which is a regular one right so mention the open the flower brackets and let's say let's just take let's just insert a you know a normal a basic type of info let's take name i'm just taking it as let's say rohan all right let's close the brackets all right it is uh, okay now you might find this warning it says collection dot insert is deprecated deprecated you use insert one insert many or bulk right uh, as in your command but it's just fine you know you can also use just insert it will work as you can see it has successfully created acknowledged true and it has inserted id so similarly we will insert another two documents and see how it actually represents in uh, you know in a real time so let's just take uh, another name let's say uh, preeti all right and let us take another uh by above it's taking a random name so i think so we have uh, successfully inserted three and since we have put a limit of maximum three i'm just inserting three and what will happen if you're trying to insert the fourth record we'll see how it works so let's just uh, display the records that are present in a collection for that i'm again using our uh, collection name and i'm using the find method here so as you can see it is successfully retrieving all the three documents that is uh, the details of rohan preeti and bhaiwav now what if i'm trying to insert a new document here all right i'm just copying this and 
let's say I'm trying to insert a fourth document in this. Uh, I'm trying to insert a new document whose name is, let's say, Kiran. So in such case, and if I'm trying to find uh, the data again that is present in our you know log collection too, which is a capped collection. So you can see that we previously had Rohan, Preeti, Bhaivav. Now we have Preeti, Bhaivav and Kiran. That means the older one, which is uh, Rohan, has been successfully deleted from our, you know, uh, collection here. So we know that due to the circular and the fixed side nature of the capped collection, there are restrictions to this op update operations. So whenever you're trying to add a new data and if updating of any document in the collection results in the increase of the document size. So previously we had three and now we are increasing it to four. That is the size is increasing. Then MongoDB will not update this document in that collection because documents in the capped collections are stored in the order of disk, st disk storage, which ensures the size of a single document does not exceed its allocated size on the disk. So it, that is the reason why uh, it is basically based on the first come first serve basis and it will automatically delete the old documents whenever you are trying to, trying to insert a new document into our collection. So this is how in general, you know, cap collection works. I hope you understood that. Now, let's say if you want to convert, you know, already present collection, which is a non cap collection, if you want to change it to a cap collection, in such case, you can use another query for that, right? So basically the query would be db dot uh, run command. Men open the flower brackets and mention the keyword which is convert capital to T O and capital cap capital C in cap keyword. All right, so let's just enter it. Now let us take uh, one collection here. Let's say I'm trying to uh, change this employee, which is a non-capped collection, into a capped collection. So I'm just specifying employee here. Okay, I forgot to mention. the uh, inverted commas so mention the inverted commas and again provide the size let's take a uh, size as 10,000 bytes I mean it's, it's uh, your preference you can give it as per your need and maximum I want to uh, store only 100 uh, documents in this uh, you know cap collection so as you can say it is successfully saying okay one that means you have successfully converted a non capped uh, collection which is employee collection into a capped collection well I think uh, we have covered pretty much all about you know what is a capped collection how to create it its syntax and how it exactly works and with that we have come to the end of today's session guys thank you for watching the video if you found this tutorial informative and helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any further queries regarding any of the topics and concepts about cap collections that we have covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comments below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Stay tuned to the channel for more such amazing content and if you want to learn more about MongoDB topics and concepts, we have a dedicated playlist on our channel so make sure you check that out. We'll see you in the next video. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.